Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. X-Men 97 Marvel Legends Wave 1. And we're looking at Gambit in particular. Now Gambit was always one of my favourites so I'm very excited about this one. Now this is not the first Gambit figure that we've had and the accessories included are the same accessories we've had every time. I would have liked some new accessories for the Gambit figure. That would have been quite cool. But we have got a new trench coat so it can't complain fully. Let's just get all of the pieces out of the box and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with one of the older Gambits as well. Now we've had a couple of Gambit figures previously. We had one a few, quite a few years back now. I think it was the Juggernaut wave. Um, and then we had another one on the retro card uh, a couple of years ago. But I've got to say, just on initial inspections, I think this is easily the best one that we have ever had. Having the straight trench coat definitely makes a difference. And he has finally got that massive oversized hair sweep. Um, that we kind of come to love about Gambit. Now he was always one of my favourites in the television show, in the X-Men TV show, the animated series. So I'm really pleased that he is featured as one of the main characters in the upcoming X-Men 97. Not to mention one of the characters that they chose to include in that first wave of figures. Now this is a really cool effect piece that is quite in keeping with Gambit. It's got his kind of effects coming out and also the cards as well. And previously we've had that with the cards painted, with the cards unpainted. Now, the older jacket did allow for some cool dynamic posing, and I was curious as to whether this new jacket was going to limit that, but it's the nice soft plastic, so you can move it around, and I suppose you can get him into some more dynamic poses. But I'm definitely going to kind of position him in like that jumping pose that you remember seeing in the opening credits. Man, I hope they keep the same opening credits, maybe just modernise it a little bit. Anyway, let's get with again off track. Um, he comes with his bow staff as well and also a singular playing card. So you've got that kind of fingers holding it. Now, this is the retro carded gambit that we had previously. And at the time, it was definitely the best gambit or the best version of gambit that we've had. However, looking at him side by side next to this X-Men 97 version, I think he becomes obsolete. The retro carded one has definitely gone for a more realistic vibe, whereas the new one has gone for a little bit more of an animated vibe. But just looking at the colours on his costume, the blues and the pinks just look so much better in my opinion on this X-Men 97 one. Uh, it's something that always really stood out to me how Gambit's costume was predominantly pink underneath his trench coat and none of the other figures have really hit that mark like that nail on the head, whereas this animated 97 version definitely does that. And I think the trench coat as well, it just makes the figure look a lot more sleek. There's something really off-putting about that kind of wind-blown trench coat that we've seen on so many figures in the past. It's, you know, I'm surprised that they're still releasing it with some figures. I think, I think that this retro gambit was the last time we saw it. But yeah, I, I can't believe that it was still in production even that, that not that long ago. Um, the effect pieces as well. Looking at the effect pieces on the new X-Men 97, the pink is a lot more predominant. It's not as translucent and it just looks a lot more kind of animated in that sense. But essentially, the accessories and the hands and everything like that are exactly the same. You're not getting anything different. But the new head sculpt is definitely a plus, definitely a step up. Um, it was just something, there was something really cool about his hairstyle in that animated show. And it was massive and it was over the top and very kind of manga-like. And yeah, they've just hit the nail on the head with this, this animated series version. The face as well looks a little bit comic. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the, the difference in the effect pieces. But yeah, the new head sculpt looks a little bit more comic book accurate. He's got that kind of square of jaw as well. Um, all in all, I just think this is definitely the, the definitive gambit that we've got so far. So this is definitely the one that I'm going to be keeping in my collection and on display. Um, and the fact that we've got a, a slimmed down version of the trench coat means that he won't take up as much space on the shelf, which is always annoying about those trench coats, is they kind of take up the space of two, sometimes three figures, depending on how you've got them posed. But yeah, all in all, this is a very cool Gambit, and I'm not disappointed in the slightest. This is the kind of Gambit figure that I would have loved to have had, you know, all, that, all those years ago when watching the TV show, and I cannot wait to see how he... Turns out in the new TV show, the X-Men 97. Speaking of X-Men 97, do check out my page because I'm looking at the entire wave of X-Men 97 figures. I think it's the first wave because they've been so popular. I'm sure we're going to get the remaining few of the characters. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with those. 
And of course, do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. But there we go, Gambit. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.